Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It's Wednesday, July 20th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. Once again, weaker tone of these markets as you came in here and had some uh, a little bit of adjustments here to these weather forecasts. Not too big of ones, but it looks like maybe not getting as hot. Still very hot temperatures. Uh, you know, you're going to get the brunt of it in Minnesota, South Dakota, and Nebraska to start off with. Iowa going to get some of it as well. Uh, but for the most part, it looks like a, just a little bit less threatening than it was before prior. Uh, to yesterday's trade and so what you did was have that pressure come into these markets uh, beans mustered up just a little bit but on that midday model where you just saw the temperature shift just a little bit you actually saw that selling pressure come from beans going up nine cents uh, slowly faded all the way down to being now 19 cents this does push uh, beans uh, to the 100 day moving average and slightly below it on these contracts so you do have a technical price count open up just a little bit to the downside here uh, corn market you saw that pressure as well well, uh, though they did fight back here about three or four cents off their low, closing down about three to four cents on the day, uh, which is a pretty decent close compared to the soybean market. But you look at their price counts and you're at uh, 345 on those December contracts. You're really down there as far as those go. Same situation into the wheat market, closing down three to eight cents across the board. Uh, you did have a stronger dollar once again, up about 18 cents on the day. It slowly is approaching. Uh, 98, 90, $99 level, which does put extreme pressure on these commodities, makes our exports not as great. Uh, same situation you had into those meat markets, really. Uh, they, they are somewhat uh, driven off the wheat or the weather market with not so hot temperatures into like Nebraska. Uh, it's still going to be hot, but it doesn't look like it's going to stick around as long. You might get a break. And because of that, between that, liquidations from the fund market and then a higher dollar, you saw that pressure as well come into the meat markets, live cattle, feeder cattle, both over a dollar lower. Lean hogs were mixed with your front month, much weaker, but deferreds were able to close just slightly higher on the day. Like I said, outside markets, the dollar was up about 18 cents. Crude fought its way back just slightly higher and then the Dow was also slightly higher. Moving forward, what we're gonna watch is see these temperatures, how hot does it get and how hot does it stay into the night temperatures. That's just as important as these higher temperatures during the day to see if corn gets a little bit of a relief here as a lot of those areas are in very important time frame as far as filling out those kernels uh, and making their way into having a decent yield here. So time will tell as far as what this temperature does to stress. I do have to close with a disclaimer, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable without producers. Have a great day.